to our graduates, Brennan and Paul and Carissa, our graduates from our school here, to our graduates from high school, I don't know if we have any here from colleges or not, I don't see any, but to all of our graduates and to our new confirmands, as you will be confirmed here in a few moments as well, for all of you, for all of us, you have learned about God. You've learned from the Bible. You've learned about Jesus. That's the most important thing. Most important thing in all of life is to know and learn about Christ. And then remember this place, this sanctuary, this oasis as a place of rest, a place where you can come and hear Jesus say to you, to each one of you, he says to you, come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Here you find spiritual rest. Because you are pointed away from the busy problems of this earthly life, and instead, where does God point your eyes to? He points your eyes to the great eternal truth of heaven, waiting for you. A place of peace and rest because of what Jesus did for you. Remain in Jesus, for he gives you rest, both here in time and there in eternity. In Jesus' name, amen. At this time, I'd like to invite down Neil Webb, our school principal, and also Tamara Paulin, the chairman of our school board, to present the diplomas to our eighth grade graduates while they're coming down. You have a microphone? Do you need one? Teacher voice, okay. While they're coming down, I just want to say, Brennan and Carissa and Paul, it's been a pleasure to have you in school. I've enjoyed my little portion of teaching you all these years, and I've seen you grow all the way from preschool and kindergarten all the way to eighth grade, and now you're about as tall as me. So I've seen that happen, too. I know, Carissa, many people have mentioned they remember when I carried you in as a baby, when you were first born, when we first came here. And Paul, I don't want to play you in golf. You're too good. But congratulations to all three of you. So, uh, Mr. Webb and Mrs. Paulin. Thank you, and congratulations to all three of you. We also want to recognize our graduates at other levels. I know we have three from, our, from high schools here, so why don't you three stand up? Yes, you've got to be recognized. Jacob Webb, Isaiah Webb, from graduating from Michigan Lutheran High School, and Isaac Measle from uh, Lakeshore High School. So congratulations to you.
What a wonderful accomplishment. I know we have a few others that I don't see here. Caden Lees, also from Lakeshore. Lexi Parker and Ava Sandman from Lakeshore. Emily Sorensen from St. Joseph. She was in the early service. And I know of one college grad this year, Alex Mast. She also was in early service. She graduated this year from Michigan State. So we have other college graduates as well. What a wonderful accomplishment that is. And we will have a, uh, there will be a particular prayer petition in our prayers of of God's blessing to your future endeavors for all of you, our eighth grade graduates, our high school graduates, and beyond. So what a wonderful uh, accomplishment that is, and you should be proud. And we all wish you God's blessings in your future endeavors. With that, we're going to continue with the prayers of the church and the Lord's Prayer before we have our uh, rite of confirmation for our adult uh, members who are joining. So if you are able, please rise for prayer. You may be seated. At this time, I invite forward our adult confirmants. Come on forward and just make a line right here in front. While they're coming down, I will say that um, we have a confirmation certificate for each of you in the office right after the uh, service. We can go back there. And we also have a gift bag for each of you. So we have included in the gift bag, many of our regular members uh, recall this, the Lutheran Book of Prayer. So that is a prayer book that has many different prayers for different occasions, including a series of prayers you can pray through for the, during a month. And also this little book, which I found very helpful. Why I Am Lutheran by a Pastor Daniel Preuss. So two excellent books, a copy for each of you, and a little gift bag in the office afterwards, okay? So that's for you guys. All right, I can say it's been a pleasure. This is, uh, these are people from our, my last two classes, Teaching Lutheranism 101, this past year and the year before. And it's been such a great pleasure, and all of you have asked so many questions. It makes my job of teaching that much easier and more enjoyable when you guys keep asking questions. I love it. And uh, as some of you know, I know we always have a few of our regular members join us uh, for these classes, and, and they uh, join in and learn as well. So it's been uh, a blessing to get to know each of you. So welcome, officially, as we begin this little rite of confirmation, okay? So we continue on page 11. Beloved in the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ said to his apostles, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. You have been baptized, or will be baptized, and you have been catechized in the Christian faith according to our Lord's bidding. Jesus said, Whoever confesses me before men, I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Lift up your hearts, therefore, to the God of all grace, and joyfully give answer to what I now ask you in the name of the Lord. To all of you, do you this day in the presence of God and of this congregation acknowledge the gifts which God gives in your baptism? Do you renounce the devil in all his works and all his ways? I do. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Yes, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Do you hold all the prophetic and apostolic scriptures to be the inspired word of God? Do you confess the doctrine of the Evangelical Lutheran Church drawn from the scriptures as you have learned to know it from the small catechism to be faithful and true? Do you intend to hear the word of God and receive the Lord's Supper faithfully? Do you intend to live according to the word of God 
and in faith, word, and deed to remain true to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, even unto death. Do you intend to continue steadfast in this confession in church and to suffer all, even death, rather than fall away from it? We rejoice with thankful hearts that you have received the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have confessed the faith and have been absolved of your sins. As you continue to hear the Lord's word and receive his blessed sacrament, he who has begun a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. To all of you, the Almighty God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you the new birth of water and of the Spirit, and has forgiven you all your sins, strengthen you with his grace unto life everlasting. Amen. Upon this, your profession and promise, I invite and welcome you all as members of the Evangelical Lutheran Church and of this congregation to share with us in all the gifts that our Lord has for his church and to live them out continually in his worship and service. Amen. If you are able, please rise for prayer. Let us pray for the newly confirmed. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you that for your great goodness in bringing these your sons and daughters to the knowledge of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and then enabling them both with the heart to believe and with the mouth to confess his saving name. Grant that, bringing forth the fruits of faith, they may continue steadfast and victorious to the day when all who have fought the good fight of faith shall receive the crown of righteousness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And just one last little final note before the benediction and our closing. We will have a new member welcome for all of you this fall, probably right around the time school starts, including any new transfers. I know there's been a couple of families that have transferred in and a few more that I think will be transferring in over the summer. So we'll have a, a new member welcome where we'll have some, some punch and cake and cookies and goodies and all the members of the congregation can shake your hands and we'll put little name tags on you and totally embarrass you. All right? But that way you get to know people a little bit more. But that'll be the end of the summer because... The next couple of months are going to be scattered for most of us. All right. So just keep that in mind. You'll hear more about that. All right. Receive the blessing of our Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. Amen. Congratulations.